Hey guys, it's Super Sonic Ranger, and today I'll be doing a theory video of Episode 1. This is the first Robotnik War, aka all the canonical games put into one. Everything up to Sonic 1 to probably Sonic 3. You're probably wondering, what is the Robotnik War? Well, it was a 10-year conflict in Mobius' recent history between the mad scientist Dr. Ivo Robotnik and the vicious settlements on Mobius. As well, the guerrilla warfare waged by the numerous freedom fighter cells. It came to an abrupt end after Snively Robotnik betrayed his uncle and set the ultimate annihilator to erase only his DNA. The war resulted in millions being roboticized, and conflicts persisted around Morpheus, even the other war official end as the remains of Robotnik's empire continues to exist. After a short period of peace, it was followed by a second Robotnik war against Dr. Eggman. I'm going to explain to you guys in depth about what happened and the complete history about the Robotnik war. In the aftermath of the Great War, King Maximus Acorn made the decision to decimate the war ministry and appoint Julian Kinderbor, the future Dr. Robotnik, as Minister of Science. Unknown to Max, Julian planned to overthrow him. At first, Julian planned to use an army of cyborgs to take control of the Kingdom of Acorn, but his only successful subject was Monkey Can, for the rest had died. His mistake, Julian, sabotaged the original roboticizer and forced Sir Charles Hedgehog to give him the device. With his plan formed, Julian established the aid of his nephew, Snively, and prepared to take control of the kingdom. If you're wondering where I got all this information, check out the book Sonic the Hedgehog from Archie Comics, 40, 43, 72, 79, and 86. Spreading influence and the freedom fighters emerge. After believing he secured his hold over what was once the king of Acorn, Robotnik began to transfer Mobians looking for new areas he could control and establish sub-bosses wherever he could. Among the more notable regions was the Dragon Kingdom, the homeland of his failed experiment cyborg, Monkey Kong. It was here that he addressed a local warlord known as Jun Khan and his overlayer Monkey Kong. Sorceress Rana Confuran with weapons needed to gain the upper hand over the free people and the ninja clans, rising them, establishing the Iron Dominion. Though successful of taking control over Momotropolis and reconstructing into the city of Robotropolis, Dr. Robotnik had the problem in the form of the original Freedom Fighters. His group, led by Ko, Tag, Srip, led guerrilla strikes on his city, and lured out the robotic army into the Great Forest to destroy them. In time, the fighters became more and more of a greater threat in his region. Robotnik then bribed trans scales into betraying his comrades, who lured them into Robotropolis into a trap. Revealing trade betrayal, Robotnik then roboticized the entire group and proceeded to send them all, including the scales, into the zone of silence. In time, he had conquered most of Mobius, leaving only a select few of escaping his eventual reach. And then he placed his original governments to maintain lead to against the other local resistant movements. However, inspired by the original Freedom Fighters, a resistance group known as the Nuthole Freedom Fighters took up the fight against Robotnik, led by Princess Sally Acorn, and the one who would become the Robotnik's greatest enemy, Sonic the Hedgehog. Battles against Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik would launch several plans in attempts to destroy the Nuthole Freedom Fighters. These plots included using the robotic plant Kranzu to spread and destroy the Great Forest. Creating the EVE to destroy Sonic. The use of the weather Annihilator to flush out any resistance in an amnesia ridden Sonic to betray his friends. The use of Combots to locate Nuthole and sending supplies to Combot in W, the cure of the local Freedom Fighter cell. 
All of these attempts proved futile, however. Turning points. At one point, Robotnik nearly managed to achieve victory over Sonic the Hedgehog and the Nutholes, Freedom Fighters, with the help of escape conflict Knack the Weasel. Robotnik managed to capture and roboticize his nemesis, making him the powerful and subduent Mecha Sonic. Mecha Sonic managed to destroy a large portion of Nuthole Village. He was prevented from providing the location when Mecha Knuckles attacked him. Ultimately, Robotnik's plan backfired when the two Robotians coiled into Robotic points turned into the nuclear slag. Sonic was restored to his organic self shortly afterwards by his one bio-powering well Knuckles used the de-roboticizer. Following the Mechasonic disaster, Robotnik set to work on his next big scheme, the Death Egg, a powerful orb-like battle station capable of roboticizing the entire planet when they boarded his vessel upon completion, leaving his rebuilding of Robotropolis to his nephew Snively, who instead used the Swatbot's labor force to plan up him. Although near successful in shrinking the floating island, the Death Egg was ultimately destroyed by Sonic and Tails. After suffering numerous setbacks, Robotnik was furious. He finally developed his ultimate scheme. Operation Endgame. Robotnik's death, Mobian victory. Operation Endgame entailed several phases of Dr. Eggman's greatest plan. Firstly, Robotnik tried to have Sally killed and framed Sonic for the death of Sally. With help from the traitor Drogo Wolf, Robotnik would then entail Nuthole using a robot eradica of King Acorn. The Nuthole's location, now known, the Doctor arrived at the Freedom Fighters' doorstep and held them at gunpoint. Rather than kill them all of them immediately, Robotnik decided to make his victory more symbolic by using Nuthole as a testing ground for his new ultimate annihilator. A scalable weapon capable of wrapping in reality and erasing matter. However, his plan began to unravel when Drago was discovered to be a double agent and Sonic no longer charged with Sally's murder. Sonic went to fight Robotnik face to face to avenge Sally, but Robotnik managed to fire the ultimate annihilator anyways. However, unbeknownst to him, Snively had under fire to weapons programming to only target Robotnik's DNA, which would allow Snively to take over Robotnik was subsequently erased by his own weapon during his battle with Sonic. The Aftermath In the immediate aftermath of Robotnik's death, Sonic learned that Sally was actually still alive and that she was in a coma. He needed to improve her awakening and proceeded to bring her out of the coma with a kiss. The two, uh, two of them celebrated their ultimate victory with the death of Dr. Robotnik.